Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Thor News' wild, weird, wacky, doomy, gloomy situation, snafu bar earth weekend, where the sun's acting weird, the weather's acting weird, people are acting weird, and astrologers say that the planetary energy and the eclipse energy is extreme and out of this world. So buckle up, put your boots on, smoke them if you got them, and love the ones you love better than you've ever loved them before. Because, I don't know if you heard, in about 12 hours, we have an annular solar eclipse. You see, even astrology and astronomy agree, something strange is about to happen. A solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes directly between Earth and the sun. When the moon is too far away to cover the sun completely, we get the ring of fire. And it looks exactly as advertised. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. You see, even astrology and astronomy agree. Something strange is about to happen. Two sunbeams. What? In the southern hemisphere. Yeah, we ain't gonna get to see it. We're just gonna get to feel it. And I can feel it. Can you feel it? Good. And it's coming on February 26. On Sunday, February 26, the moon will pass in front of the sun. People living in southern Chile, Argentina, and Southern Africa will be able to view the Ring of Fire. The eclipse begins just after 10.33 a.m. local time in Chile, and it will reach Angola at around 5.25 p.m. local time. So that's like tomorrow for you people, unless you're watching this tomorrow, then that's today, and if this is the day after, now you know why yesterday was so weird. And so since I've confused myself, I'm just gonna read on. On Sunday, February 26th, the moon will pass in front of the sun, covering as much as 99% of the solar disk. It's an annular solar eclipse, shown here in an animation from shadowandsubstance.com. What? Whoa. And it's weird that a lot of times in the sky, the sun and the moon look like the same size. And it definitely seems like divine creation of the great architect that the moon can't cover the sun and that we have solar and lunar eclipses. I know life is pretty awesome. Life is like a magical gift miracle that somehow we figured out how to totally screw up and make it almost unlivable. Well, those days are over, people. Us being a dipshitty caveman is almost over. We're going to reach enlightenment, whether you like it or not. I'm going to save this world, whether you like it or not. Annular eclipses occur when the moon passes dead center in front of the sun, but does not completely cover it. At maximum eclipse, an intense ring of fire surrounds the mountainous limb of the moon. Yeah, so it's all just cool and magical. Like, you can say it's not, and that is your American prerogative, at least for now, to believe and think whatever you want. And you can even get mad at other people who don't believe exactly what you believe in, which I think is the dumbest shit out there. Like, people who hate other people who don't believe exactly what they believe. Like, I'm so tired of that crap, man. Can I mention that? I'm gonna take all this weird energy and say, I'm so tired of the days where everybody hates everybody because we don't all agree in the same shit. It's literally almost impossible for two people to believe the exact same things about everything. So what we need to do is figure out the things that all people should agree on. Like, you know what? You shouldn't kill people. You shouldn't rape men or women or children, right? We can all agree on that, right? So we should really all start to agree on the simpler things in life and start arguing about the frilly, fringy, lacy bullshit. But you can do whatever you want, you know? I'm just saying. The eclipse is here, so that's partially why it's so weird. And the fact that everybody in the media keeps calling it a ring of fire eclipse makes me think we may have an earthquake. It is called the ring of fire. Sometimes there's symmetries and thoughts and things. So just let you know, yeah, it's weird. And it's going to get weirder. So uh, the eclipse is happening about 6, 15 a.m. It starts here in Texas time. You can figure out where you are and what time it's going to start. And uh, so just welcome to, to this weird, wild weekend. I'm glad we're all here together. And it's time to come together, people. Okay, great, sweet. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel that energy? It is, and I'll be honest, this may be another reason for you to say that I don't like Thor News, or I'm leaving Thor News, because Thor News is interested in astronomy. And you know what? I think there is something interesting in astrology. There's a reason secret societies and the richest people on Earth, and even NASA, use it. They say they don't, but they do. It's a matter of if our solar system works as we've been told, do the alignments of the planets have their own energy and you know what my answer is yes absolutely they do you know what i'm saying like when you got like four or five planets in a line does that affect things absolutely freaking man and the fact that we all believe that like 
Mars is angry and always at war. That fits perfectly. And like Nostradamus said, in 1999, terror would come from the sky and Mars would rule for way too long. Which for me is hopefully like 16 years. Because what happened is Mars, like mind controlled and Saturn, and Saturn's like justice in time. So Mars screwed up justice in time and has been using it to its own greedy, warring purpose. So what we need to happen is we need to have like Jupiter, Neptune, and Uranus, as you can see there in a triangle right now. They need to wake Saturn up and break him from Mars's MK Ultra mind controlling so we can all have a peaceful, better Earth where we actually improve things instead of profiting from them falling apart. Bet you didn't know you were going to get a lecture in this one, did you? Ha! All right, so peace out. Yeah, if you want to be mad, I think, you know what? I think the planetary alignments do affect things. Like, for example, look on here, look how close Venus and Earth are. Have you seen how close Venus and Earth are? Like, have you seen how bright Venus has been in the sky? You know, like, the fact that we think of Venus as a woman with two faces. That makes sense to me, too. Uh, everything, I don't know, it's all cool, man. It's like, everybody just, everybody use everything to, see, I can't even talk. Energy, what are you doing to me? Energy. There's Eris. Wow. Eris is like, I'm coming to screw shit up. And it's like, no way, dude. I'm going to make it all better. I'm going to save this world. Whether you guys like it or not. But I can't do it without your help. So, I don't know. Take it or leave it. Or take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. All right. So, I'll be back with the next one. Although the U.S. won't see the ring of fire, there will be a total eclipse soaring across the country on August 21st.